These seeds are fantastic blood cleansers. Chronic ailments like diabetes, hypertension, cardiac ailments, these things can be altered just by bringing about a certain balance in the system. Black pepper, it's here in United States you're calling the chili also as pepper, not the green pepper. The black pepper, the peppercorn is very highly pronic and if you know how to use it properly, it can play a great role in keeping your arteries clean. All the spice is highly pronic but they must be used in small quantities. If you use spices in very big quantity, then it lowers the hemoglobin content in your blood, it tends to make you anemic. But in small quantities it's very good, it's very highly pronic. There is substantial research to show that if you bring thirty percent fruits into your diet, the chances of lowering the heart or cardiac ailments will be less. Even the same thing goes for diabetes, blood pressure, liver problems and uh, renal problems. All these things can be considerably reduced with sufficient data that fruit should become an important part of our diet. At one time when we were growing up, we could just pluck fruit anywhere and eat as children. But today, I don't think today's children can pluck a fruit anywhere because you don't see them anywhere. If you see, it is only in the marketplace. So this has to change that we have to bring fruit back into our diet. Sprouted fenugreek or methi as it's known, these seeds are fantastic uh, blood cleansers, good source of protein and vitamins and minerals, very good for uh, lactating mothers, great for hair and nail growth, reduces blood pressure, uh, brings down blood sugar level, sprouted fenugreek or methi along with sprouted uh, green gram or mung is very, very good for cognitive health. Those who are over fifty years of age must consume this on a daily basis, <laughs> otherwise you may not realize slowly you will lose it. This is a uh, karpu kavani arasi or uh, black kavani paddy or rice. This is a unique uh, form of rice, super nutritious and at one time it was said only the kings should eat this. Black kavani rice is a good source of several nutrients, particularly protein, fiber and iron. Some studies show that black kavani rice contains twenty-three types of antioxidants and has the highest antioxidant activity of all rice varieties. This has shown to help protect against heart disease. It is also been found to have potent anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer effects on the human system. It is also been found to reduce the number of uh, human uh, breast cancer cells and it has slowed down the spread of breast cancer by use of this rice on a daily basis. So there are immense benefits. Human ailments are of two different kinds. There are infectious diseases and chronic ailments. Infectious diseases happen to the body. An external organism invades the system and causes certain trouble, which has to be dealt with medication. But chronic ailment, what it means is our own body is creating the problem. The disease is being manufactured in the system. Chronic ailments like diabetes, hypertension, cardiac ailments, asthma, allergies, obesity, eating disorders and many of these kinds which are all essentially generated from within, all these things can be quelled from within if only we are willing to pay a certain level of attention to the innermost dimension of who we are. These things can be altered just by bringing about a certain balance in the system, activating a certain level of inner energy. The inner engineering process is just about this, that you find access to this deepest dimension of intelligence and competence within ourselves, which is capable of generating this body, creating this body from what kind of material. 
If you eat a piece of bread, it turns into human system in a few hours' time. So there is that dimension of intelligence and competence within this. If only you found access to that, health is not even something that you have to struggle with. You know what this is? This is called a Rudraksh, okay? Rudraksh as a seed, this tree mainly grows at certain altitude. Somewhere between 6,500 to 12,000 altitude is where Rudraksh grows in the Himalayan region. And uh, it has very unique vibrations. It uh, brings down the blood pressure in your system, your nerves will be calm. There are various types of Rudraksh, from a single-faced Rudraksh to twenty-one faces. These are for specific purposes. For people who are in family and social situations, the best thing to wear is always the five-faced Rudraksh. These are called Panchamukhis. A five-faced Rudraksh, if you see, there will be grooves, you can count the faces. Five-faced Rudraksh is the best one. Thank you.